Okay, today I'm working on plyometric type drills for hopping, namely hopping medially and laterally and hopping and twisting. And so for those of you who are doing knee rehab, maybe it's after knee surgery or a knee injury and you're trying to return to sport. So this is the stage right at the end of a rehab program where you are starting running and you're also starting some drills for sport, but you're not yet training with the team because you've got to do your hopping work, your plyometric work to try and build some strength and some ability to do the sport. So this is when you're after, say, hopping latch on the ground. So if you've done work where you're hopping over a line back and forth, you've passed your test where you're doing a hop of 40 centimeters and back, but you haven't done any height work. Some of you might have done box jumps where you're jumping up onto a box and doing that. So that's great, but that's two legs. We've got to make sure for sport that we're doing single leg, we're doing single leg going medially and laterally from a height up and down, but also you got to do the twisting work. So this is going to involve all of that, and we're going to go through what to look for when you're doing each exercise. So the first one we're going to work on is hopping up onto a box laterally and then down medially. So if I was going to go from my left leg, let's say this is my injured leg or my surgical leg, I'm going to be hopping up, straight up onto a box, in the middle, straight down again. Now that seems pretty easy stuff, but some of you, that will feel really hard and really sort of scary to do. What I suggest you do is start off with just, say, one stage box. Obviously, this has got two stages underneath it plus the box. You can start with just the box. And then as you get better, build up the stages. You don't need to go too high on this sort of stuff because you're not going to be jumping this sort of height often when you're playing sport. And especially if you're just starting to return to training, you only need this height. The sport and the training when you're in the team will give you the height stuff later. This is just to get you to that training regime. So don't overcook and go too high with this. Now, if I'm going laterally to melee, what I want to make sure of is when I start off, all that work I've been doing about knee control and keeping that knee in line with my foot, I don't put the waist. So I don't want to start off and jump and let my knee cave inwards okay so when you jump you've got to make sure you're bending and squatting and getting that knee almost slow motion before you jump bend and down and squat over there and then jump up onto the box get that right first you don't want to just start off and just go oh yep and do this and realize your knee is caving in because that's going to repeat that movement if you keep repeating that you're going to reinforce that really bad pattern of knee rolling in and guess what that's how you get ACL injuries so make sure when you jump slow it down, keep the knee over the foot when you're squatting, jump up onto the box and down. Now, you've obviously got to go medial as well, meaning jumping up medially. So you could go around the other side of this if I'm facing you and come from this direction, jumping up and then coming down again, okay? One way you're going to find easier than the other, it depends on whether you're left or right footed, but also depends on which side of the knee you had the injury on. Maybe it's an ACL, maybe it's an MCL, but you'll find one way harder. Work on that side more, okay? Now, if you want to save a little bit of time, once you've got up and down correct, you can then go over, all right? So this is when it's going to build up sort of the performance, the ability of and strength endurance, it's going to get that plyometric type movement going. So you can go from, if I'm doing my left leg again, lateral up, lateral down, medial up, medial down. So what I mean is, Jumping up, middle of the box, down, middle of the box, down, okay? Every single land has to be in line with your knee, okay? Not rolling in, so make sure of that. So once you've done those, the rep range that you're gonna do, you're gonna start feeling like you're gonna lose your breath, is trying to get a set of maybe six to eight of those. So one over, so this is one, okay? You're trying maybe six of those on each leg, maybe two sets, probably not three. You've got a lot of things to go through when you're doing these plyometric drills. You don't want sort of one exercise to overcook you. So don't do too much. You just need to improve your ability to do it, okay? It's not like strengthening in the gym where you're doing leg press to strengthen quadricep muscles. It takes a long time. This is improving your ability, getting your brain on board of what you need to achieve. So you don't have to do too many things of these. The second thing I want you to work on is hopping and twisting. This gets a little bit harder. And there's some new things you've got to think about. If I'm going, say, I'll swap legs. If I'm going for my right leg and I want to rotate, I'm going to rotate 90 degrees to the box, okay? So if I'm starting this side, I need to land here, 
okay? And that's my medial jump up, or my left side rotation. So this is gonna challenge me on this side if I rotate that way, okay? So I wanna go think about how many directions do I need to complete? That is, from here, landing medial, all right? And then what you might do is then come down again. So this one, you don't have to do one jump. So you don't have to do this and, and then just get off the box. What you can try and do, once you've mastered that, is go turn left and then turn right again. What you wouldn't do is turn left and left. So this is what you won't do. You won't go left, left, because it's the same direction. What I want you to try and get good at is correcting that. So I'm gonna land back where I started, same direction. Twist left, go right, okay? And you'll notice every time I land, my knee lands over my foot. I don't roll inwards, okay? So when you take off, just like we talked about how if you're, if you're taking off, don't let your knee roll in. What I, want you, what I want you to make sure of is, same rules, don't let your knee roll in before you start, but also don't try and cheat and think, oh, I've got to twist and try and twist on the ground, okay? So don't twist on the ground when you push up to get there. The idea is to get your body organized so you twist in the air. So the takeoff is nice and solid and the landing is nice and solid. So from here, this is what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to twist there and then try and turn around, all right? Then you notice that's probably the first thing you'll do is you think, how am I gonna get my body to 90 degrees in a jump? That's the sort of thing you gotta practice. You might wanna do it on the floor first. You think, okay, if I can keep my knee in line, jump up, twist and land, okay? So if you can do that, the twisting happens in the air. So from this point here, squat, jump up, twist, okay? And then from there, same drill. Jump up, you've got more time though. So when you, when you land down, you've got more time in the air because you're dropping down. So it's easier to go from this direction here, twist in the air and land. And again, you've got to land and not let that roll in. All right, it's got to be over that thing. So for those of you that are starting that plyometric, that's how I would progress, making sure that you always think of all the directions. There is, say, right foot, twisting left, twisting right. So this is one, okay? There's right foot going the other way. Okay, so if I'm going from here, I will twist right and then twist left. Then you do left foot, same drill. That way, and then going the other way. Okay, got the idea? So left and right foot, making sure you're twisting left, twisting right, and again, same sort of things. You could try six of those on each leg. See how that goes, see you next time.